Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at TriggerCon 23 and one of the handguns I was really excited to see, it's my first stop today, is at Oracle Arms. They have the OA2311 Pro. It looks like a double stack 9mm 1911, but actually it's not. It has a linkless barrel system. It disassembles much easier and quicker, but it also has some features on here that I think many shooters are going to find advantageous. First off, takes a Sig Sauer P320 mag. This is a 22 round mag and it does have a flared mag well attached here and I, I've said it before I don't see a downside to a flared mag well. It makes an excellent I would guess I haven't shot it yet but an excellent competition gun. This is the pro model it has a five inch barrel you can see it has cutouts in the slide uh, full rail there to put a light they all come optic ready with plates that fit an RMR, RMSC and a Delta Point Pro. One of the things that makes this super cool is it comes out from the factory with between a four and a four and a quarter pound, I'll drop the mag here, four, four and a quarter pound trigger pull. And it does have that flat face trigger there with a 1911 reset. So basically what you're getting is a 1911-like platform, or shall I say 2311-like platform with a linkless barrel system, which as I mentioned, makes the disassemble much easier and quicker. You don't even run the barrel or the, the barrel through the upper. It just comes off like any other handgun that is more common, I should say. Maybe not, especially for those 1911 guys. But another thing this has is an ambidextrous slide stop. And the advantage there is that reach with the thumb can be a little bit intensive. Over here, I could just take my trigger finger, drop that slide and get right back into the fight. Uh, lightweight slide ring, or slide spring, pretty lightweight. I would guess right around 11 pounds. And you throw an optic on this and it's pretty cool. Now, something that you may have not seen before, perhaps you have, I haven't seen much of it. They move the rear sight in front of the optic and they have a tritium front dot. The advantage there, you're not fighting through the rear of the, the slide to co-witness it is raised, it's serrated black. As I point this pistol, I can see the dot, I can see that sight, and that makes it easier for sighting in your dot as well as if for some reason your dot goes out, you still have a clear sight picture. The MSRP on this is right around $2,600, uh, a bit more expensive, but they have others in their line. They're right to my right here. We're gonna go through that starting out at $1,700 much more affordable with many of the same features. I think you're gonna like what you see. It's one of the reasons why I really wanted to come to this booth here at TriggerCon to check it out because I saw online that it had some features that were very attractive to me and the popularity of the double stack nine millimeter 1911-like platform has grown in popularity and they got into the game with the OA2311. I wanna take a look at the grip before I move on seems to be uh, pretty well textured, not overly textured. You can put a, put a, uh, in a holster, it's not gonna irritate the body, body much. And there's a look at the flared, the flared mag well for those quick mag changes. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other handguns, a little more affordable. What we have here is an OA2311 compact. It has a four and a quarter inch barrel. Once again, the they are optic ready, but this one has the sights in the rear tritium front dot. One of the things I did not mention with the Pro model is that it has an ambidextrous thumb safety. All right, so it is left-handed friendly considering that that and the slide stop is on both sides. It has a polymer grip here. The trigger is measuring, I would guess, around four and a half with this model, but many of the same components. You can see it has a rail there and the polymer grip. The, the flared magwell is not as pronounced as with the Pro model. However, it, it does flare a bit. They also all have an aluminum frame. I didn't mention that. They do have that. And so you get a, a little bit of a lighter handgun. You got the P320 mags. MSRP on this model is $17.99. And these are out and available right now. Now this is one that includes some aftermarket accessories. It's done by Rocket City Stippling. I have a little cheat sheet here. But you can see it has the OD green on the, the grip there as well as some professional texturing with the back strap 
and the front strap as well as the side panels. All the other components remain the same. This one has the optic on it and as you can see with the plate, they moved the rear sight to the front of the optic so it is always available in the case that your optic goes out. Over here we have a 5 inch model, it's the same exact as your grip anyways, the frame, the ambi controls and everything else as the compact model. What's the MSRP on this? $21.99. We'll check out this trigger and this one feels lighter than the compact. I think this is more to the four, four and a quarter pounds that we spoke about earlier with the pro model. And then over here we've got another Rocket City with some professional texturing and everything that actually feels really nice if you're at rocket city and you're watching this you guys do nice work looks like a desert sand not quite od green i don't even know what it's called but it's got a nice maybe coyote tan there's so many words for the same thing i don't even know what to say but it does look cool one of the things this offers is a port in the barrel so you see the slide is cut out with lightning cuts as well as ports in the barrel all right, so not only does it look cool, but you gain the advantage of that. And every time I feature a double stack 1911, someone says, what if you ported that barrel? Well, this one comes from the factory like that. And here we have the same thing with a five inch barrel. I can see the ports here, perhaps you can. It has this aluminum grip as well as the flared magwell. And here is a flat dark earth, coyote tan, desert sand, whatever you want to call it version that will also be available. These are not available currently, but they plan to be in the coming months. So that's Oracle Arms. They they have some nice handguns from what I've seen and what I've experienced. I like the trigger pull. I like some of the left-handed friendly components that people say, you know, hey, I'm a lefty. Certain things don't fit me that well, but they, they sort of solve that. It's like a 1911 and a little bit of a SIG P320 with some additional features that many people may find advantageous. Starting at $17.99 all the way up into right around $2,500. You're looking at some guns. I'm going to check it out that uh, during the range day and I'll probably do a short. So take a, a look at that and see how well it functions and I'll have a better idea of what we're looking at. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.